2018. What a year it was for England. The chance from all around the country was buzzing because Brexit was finally happening. So all of the EDL was marching on. But most importantly, England got to the semi-final of the 2018 World Cup. Gareth Southgate was getting the lads to play some cracking football to get far in the tournament. So today, I decided if I was England manager, it would be in my starting 11 for the Euros. In between the sticks, it got to be Dean Henderson. The lad from Whitehaven has been with Man United since 2015 and been on loan to four different clubs. But we have seen his best football at Sheffield United. Making crucial saves for the Blades, I think he has to start ahead of Pickford in net for England. But I think anyone with longer arms can do a better job than T-Rex arms Pickford. At the left back position, I think it has to be Ben Chilwell. One of the most important players for Leicester. Swinging in quality crosses and also loves a good tackle. It took him a while to settle at Leicester, but when he did, he became so influential for the Foxes, and that's why he has to be the main left back for England. At the heart of the defence, it's got to be Harry Maguire. A centre back, he's no Van Dyke, but he sure is a typical no nonsense English defender who loves a meaty challenge with his big slab head. He is key in set pieces to hammer home a header like he did against Sweden. What he lacks in technical ability, he makes up for it with brute strength. So I think he has to be the leader in defence that England desperately needed. Up next, Fakaya Tamora, the young centre back at Chelsea, has surprised many critics with his calmness on the ball and his ability to pick out a pass and even get a goal or two. He also injects a bit of pace into the defence if Maguire was ever to get caught out. He is still young and yet to mature, but when he does, he'll be a top class centre back. All he has to do is stay consistent and he'll get into the England squad with ease. At the right flank, there is only one man for the job, and that is Trent Alexander-Arnold, the boy from Liverpool who's had a dream start to his career by winning the Champions League and recently winning the Premier League as well. I know the big argument is who is better, wan or Trent, and I think it's got to be Trent. He's still only 22, he just needs to work on his defensive side to his play, and he'll be the best right back in the Prem. In centre midfield is Jordan Henderson, who's having the season of his life right now, being the captain of the Premier League winning team Liverpool. People said he would go down as being the worst captain in Liverpool history, but he proved them wrong by lifting the Champions League trophy. Many Man United fans won't be happy with this decision, but he has to be in the lineup for me because of his ability to drive with the ball and is able to calm down the play in a sticky situation. So he has to be in the England squad. Now on to the other midfielder. It has to be James Madison. He has the creative flair that England was lacking. He can dribble with the ball at his feet and take it past defenders like they weren't even there. Also his ability to pick out a risky pass which most players don't have the balls to do. But James Madison is one of the reasons why Leicester are so high up in the Premier League. He also has the most chances created in Europe and that's ahead of the likes of Messi and Ronaldo. So this lad has so much potential to be one of England's finest midfielders and has to be in the England Euro 2021 squad for me. Now on to the attacking midfielder. I think this could be the year where Jack Grealish could finally get his first cap for England. After ditching Ireland to try and get into the England squad. This lad is one of the main reasons why Aston Villa are in the Premier League and will be looking to get a move to a top six team which will likely be Manchester United. His ability to dribble and look to get a shot off is magical, especially that goal against Manchester United where he took it past the defence and banged it in top corner. So I think this is the year of Jack Grealish to kick off his England career. That's why I would take him with me. There is only one man for the right wing spot. It has to be Jadon Sancho. The 20 year old is heavily linked with a move to Manchester United. This lad is beyond talented. With the things he can do with the ball at his feet are magical. The amount of assists and goals he gets is off the charts. This lad has to be the future of England and could bring it home for the Lions. Manchester City has to be kicking themselves for letting him go for a measly £7 million when he's easily worth £100 million now. 
He's got to be one of England's best right wingers in recent history. Now on to the left wing. It has to be Adam. What? Wait, why are you here? You should be in prison. Sorry about that. Cheeky Adam being a bit naughty, if you know what I mean. I told you to go, Adam. On a real though, Raheem Sterling has to be the left winger for England. This lad has come far from his days at Liverpool under Brendan Rodgers, missing clear-cut chances, but now he is under the masterclass which is Pep Guardiola, which has benefited Sterling massively, turning him into one of the world's deadliest wingers and becoming one of England's most crucial players. So he has to be the starting on the left-hand side, definitely ahead of Pedro Johnson. The striker, one of the most important roles in football. If he isn't scoring goals, you're not going to go anywhere. But Harry Kane brings goals in abundance, winning the Golden Boot at the World Cup, scoring crucial goals to get us further in the tournament. With his powerful penalties to his marvellous head in the billet, Kane has it all. If you keep feeding him the ball, he will score, and that's a fact. Well, that is my England squad for the Euro 2021. We've had our ups and we've had our downs, but England has a bright future ahead, and I think it's coming home, lads. If you want to see more videos like this, drop a like and leave it in the comment section down below. But that's it for this video, see you into the next one, bye.